Hello and welcome back. Today we're taking a look at deploying an L-Class line array using the array frame in a flown configuration. That's right, we, us, together. There are two models of the array frame accessory, each specific to the LA-108 and LA-112 respectively. It's important to note that the array frame models cannot be mixed and matched between the two array loudspeaker models. Let's take a look at how to get it connected. We need to get the angle bars on this loudspeaker into the one and a half degree setting. To do this, we'll press the angle levers on both sides until they click. Now, push the angle lift bar up on both sides until it clicks into the next position. This is now in the six degree setting. We'll push the angle levers once more on both sides and lift the angle lift bars to get it to the one and a half degree setting. Now we're ready to attach the first loudspeaker to the array frame. With the frame properly secured to the rigging fixture or truss, simply attach the first loudspeaker by hanging the front strikes of the loudspeaker onto the front hooks of the array frame. Then lift the rear handles of the loudspeaker until the angle bar reaches the array frame. Secure the loudspeaker to the array frame using the array frame rigging pins on both sides. Make sure you secure both pins in order to ensure a safe connection. Now, to complete your array, continue to attach the remaining loudspeakers and set your splay angles using the QSE Rapid Deploy Rigging System. When setting your splay angles, it's important to be aware of the progressive splay angle rule. This rule states that a larger splay angle value cannot be used above a smaller splay angle value as it will result in an unsupported array that is impossible to optimize. The splay angles must either match or progressively increase in size from the top of the array to the bottom. For example, we have a four box array here with the angles 1.5, 6, and then 12 degrees from top to bottom. An example of an unsupported array would be if you had the angle set to, let's say, 12 degrees, 6 degrees, and then 1.5 degrees from top to bottom. No good. Technically, the hardware will allow for any combination of angles to be used throughout the array. If the progressive split angle is broken, however, the internal optimization will not work. Our engineers have spent lots of time making sure your array works with correct deployment angles, so just follow the rule and save yourself lots of time and headaches. In a flown configuration, up to six L-Class line array loudspeakers can be connected together and optimized. When it's time for teardown, we can disassemble the array just as easily as we put it together. Detach and remove the loudspeakers, starting with the bottom unit and work up to the top loudspeaker that is connected to the array frame. Now to detach the last loudspeaker from the frame, Hold one of the rear handles with one hand to support the weight while removing the array frame rigging pins on the other side to release the rear of the loudspeaker from the frame. Notice that once detached from the rear, the full weight of the loudspeakers is still supported by the two front strikes, ensuring that the loudspeaker won't fall. Lift the loudspeaker off the front strikes to fully remove it from the frame, and you're done. When rigging the array to your structure or trussing, there are a series of pick points that will be used to attach the frame and set the desired tilt angle. For a single pick point deployment, a 16 millimeter or 5 8 inch shackle can be attached to the center rail of the array frame at the center of gravity point for the desired angle. The shackle is not included with the array frame. Moving the pick points forward or backward will adjust the overall tilt angle of the array. SysNav or Ease software can help you determine the correct pick point location for your deployment. You can also use two pick points or bridle deployment if you desire. Simply attach two shackles, still not included, to the two outer rails of the array frame on parallel holes. You also have the option of using an M10 eye bolt secured to the lowest loudspeaker in the array to provide another pick point when a down tilt angle outside of the center of gravity of the array frame is needed. When flying an array, please keep all safety precautions in mind. Do not exceed the weight rating of any hardware or equipment, and when necessary, always hire a professional mechanical or structural engineer to review and verify all attachment points to buildings and structures, as well as certified rigging professionals for hoisting, positioning, and attaching any equipment to supporting structure. Safety comes first. And with that, 
a single operator can successfully deploy a six box hanging array all by themselves. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching and continue on to the next lesson whenever you're ready.